Oh well, guys, we're back in LA. We're heading back to the Google Bins. So there's actually three or four Google Bins in LA, but I always just keep coming back to this same one in San Fernando. Had some really good luck here over the years, and uh, it's actually my birthday today as well. So I'm hoping that we have some birthday luck today and we can find some really cool stuff to round out what has been an amazing trip. So this is a brand that doesn't really do too well for those here in America because it's so common, but for us back home in Australia, it's actually a really good selling brand, Champion. This is a nice embroidered uh, hoodie here. It's a little bit dirty, but I think I can clean it up. Um, there's the tag there, 2XL, authentic. Uh, the reverse weaves are the ones that sell for some really good money back home in Australia. So I was looking for any markings to say that this was a reverse uh, weave, but I don't think it is but I still think we'll be able to get about 40 bucks once it's cleaned up. Also found this as well, um, some of uh, the Trojans, Trojans college hat. It's a little bit dirty as you can see there. There's some stains that I've got to get out of it. White's always super hard, but I mean, it's only gonna cost me 50 cents. Team Trojan there on the uh, on the inside. So uh, Bronny James just gone there. This one should sell well. Here you go guys, I've just found an example of what I'm talking about when I say reverse weave. This is another champion jumper. It's a little bit smaller though, which is frustrating. It's a size medium, uh, but there it is there, reverse weave. And that's the sort of champion jumper you wanna be looking for. I'm gonna put this one back though. As cool as it is, just looks a little bit worn, not as clean as the other one, um, but yeah, reverse weave. Definitely something to be looking for. Also found this Arsenal hoodie as well, Nike. Uh, it looks to be in pretty good condition. It's a Nike medium. There's the tag there. Just a few little marks on it, but nothing too crazy. You could definitely give this a wash, and you know? I think it'll come up well. There's some pockets in there too. Nothing on the back, but I mean, you can't say no to that. Arsenal, Nike, pretty cool hoodie. If you guys haven't been to the bins before, these are the price points that we're working with. Toys thirty-nine and textiles, which is pretty much everything we're buying, three nineteen per pound, so it's pretty cheap. Uh, this one here in the toy section actually was a really good pickup. It was a Furby and it was selling for about $32 um, on eBay, so that's not too bad of a convert considering we're only paying a dollar for it. Uh, I also dove into the plush section and I found this little one right here. This was an Angry Birds plush toy, really quite small as well, so it'll get home pretty easily. It should convert into about $20 as well. One of the coolest things on this trip this year was actually linking up with a few viewers of the channel and today I actually met Roman and he gave me a look at his haul. Roman, yeah, nice Matt. Nice. Well, yeah, these like dinners, you know. Sick. Um, you got it nice and full. Oh, well, I got a lot of... I got to sort through it. Oh, that nice. Yeah, like dunks. Well yeah. done. That's awesome. Yeah, I, do a lot of I do a lot of hats too. Like, uh, I try to... There's always like a lot of like... Oh, you do a lot of hats as well. There's a lot of cast and crew hats. Yeah, I've actually grabbed a couple of them as well. Yeah, okay, like naval. US naval. Yeah, yeah, nice. You know... Uh, Are you just on... Um, Are you just on eBay? Yeah, right now I'm just doing eBay, but um... What's the store called? Like Times New Roman? There he is, yeah. Let's see him in. Uh, Times New Roman, that's a good name. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. That's sick, dude. Yeah. That's really cool. Even all those pins, you could probably do individually. Yeah, I'll probably like take, take them off. I'll probably take them off, or I'll just put it a little higher in price. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I saw this and it's like... That's there's really a lot nice. of pins that are worth, like, uh, sometimes you find like you know like Disney pins little rare ones yeah and um, yeah and a lot of patches on this one too and these boots do well don't they yeah Danner yeah yeah but, uh, Danner yeah that one's like from a movie with the uh, the mesmerist uh, it's, uh, that one guy from uh, it's just like a little that's Destiny awesome Child, 2000s Destiny yeah. Child vintage yeah a bunch of other stuff uh, do you um do you spend some time going through it all and then put stuff back is that how you do it yeah, do you grab like like half hour. Oh, I like that. You want it? You have it? No, 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 not at all. You go for it. Yeah, it's cool. You can have it. Arthur Ashe. I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> Do you know what this is? No. Neither. It just looked cool. Usually anything with like a white tag, it's, it's usually good. Usually decent. Like a clothing. Yeah. What's that hat? Yeah, it's nice. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of random stuff. So that's why like when I come here, I yeah. just get every hat. Just grab them. And then you sort through. Yeah, and then you come back and have a look. Just picking, it's gonna, you know, yeah, it'll take gonna, too long, hey? Dude, yeah. that's epic. Appreciate it. Let me uh, have a bit of a look. That's awesome, man. Oh, that's really cool. The Itchy and Scratchy Show. TV. 
Universal Studios, the L's just come off a little bit there, but it's pretty old school. The itchy and scratchy show, pretty light as well. That wouldn't cost very much. This was an epic find, guys. Spider-Man on the Nintendo 64 goes for about $40, but I didn't know if it was going to play in Australia, so I gave it to my good friend, Roman. Do you reckon that would play? Well, they don't play on my device. Yeah. You can have it if you want it. Yeah, Happy with yeah. it? I think there's comps for about 50 bucks. Yeah. Give it a clean, give it a test, and I think there's like 40 or 50 bucks each. Gotcha. Now, Roman isn't the only one that I'm buying for as well. I'm also looking after J6 Flips, an awesome YouTuber that really looked after me during this trip to the USA. More on that a little bit later, but stick around for it. Just found these North Face shoes, but I'm just trying to find the other one for it because it's a really good one. It's in good condition. It's a US size eight as well. So the size women's eight isn't too bad. Just have to dig through all of this here and try and find the other one. Fortunately, I didn't find the other North Face shoe, but I did find these. These are a pair of Patagonia Lulu, uh, basically moccasin leather shoes. Now, I would have run past these, but I did spy Patagonia, and I knew that that was worth a little bit of money. So I did some searching on eBay, and I realized that these were multiple comps going for over $100. So an awesome shoe, very stoked to have found it. It's going to cost no more than 2 or $3. I'm going to turn into 100 bucks on eBay. I did also find these as well, some Mario and Luigi sneakers for the kids. They're a US Youth 12. If you're interested, if you're interested in anything, hit me up on Instagram, we'll cut a really good deal for you. Found these kids Dragon Ball Z backpack, lunchbox, all little bits and pieces here is a bit of a set. And then this here as well, which looks like another little lunchbox. So pretty cool. There's been a lot of good bags found today with all of this. And then obviously that Super Mario bag that we found earlier as well. Found this movie hat as well, which was awesome. It was, it's Panavision, Panavision Hollywood. And it's actually a really good brand. Um, just a um, movie production company. And it's got a cool little movie logo on it there as well. And there were some big comps going for about 80 to to $100 for this thing. Um, Panavision, something you want to be finding. This one I'm probably the most excited about though, guys. We've got a USC, University of Southern California. It's got the game. It's got even a little logo of the Trojan on the back here. And uh, yeah, this thing is old school. Some big, big comps on this. Even some embroidery there. See that? It says the game. Um, this one, there was comps going for about $60 to $70. Believe it or not, vintage college hats. They do very, very well. This is a pretty decent brand as well that I like to pick up, guys. It's called Salty Crew. If you do some comp search on this brand, it goes for some good money. And I like the pattern on this one as well. Terror Tract was actually a movie. Um, it's an old school movie, it's got an old school tag in there as well, so I don't know too much about this one, but I don't know, when you're in Hollywood, you pick up any of the movie hats you see and any sort of promo hats, so that was cool as well. Man, we are off to a flying start. Like, there are some really huge pickups in there, some awesome vintage stuff. I'm placing a large focus around the hats, as you can tell, uh, just because they're a bit of a lighter weight item for me to take home. Um, those Patagonia boots, those leather moccasin shoes, no wonder they were there last, like, you know, not taken in the rush because they don't look like they're worth anything. And then doing some research, $100 pair of shoes that I'm going to pay like two, three bucks for. So, yeah, the bins. I'm absolutely loving my time here. Um, some really cool hats in there too. But as always, I like to do a bit of a break, come outside, have a breather, get some water, cruise into the outlet store and see what we can find in there. So we'll push in there now and hopefully buy a few more things. Found these Adidas basketball shorts. 10 bucks, size large. Cavaliers. Not too bad, but I don't think I'll do it. Also found some Clippers shorts here as well. These ones are Nike, and they're, I think, a little bit newer. Whoop. So yeah, Nike 38 waist. Pretty clean too, but they want $13 for a size large, so that for me would be, what's that, 13, maybe 17 or so dollars, and I'd probably really only sell them for about 30, so I think I have to leave them as well, no margin in that. Just having a look in the sports section here. Um, there's just those two basketball shorts so far. USA, Team USA, I think that's the soccer shorts. It's kind of cool, extra large. 
Probably not though. My YouTube analytics tells me that 40% of you guys are watching this and yet to hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and do so now. These are a really cool pair of shoes. The Asics Gel Cumulus should turn into 75. They also found this sort of Rey Mysterio wrestling mask. It's the Seattle Seahawks NFL logo as well on it. Um, absolutely no comps on eBay. I'm actually probably going to throw this one back, but I thought that was a pretty cool, unique find. And uh, yeah, kind of wish it was worth something. Well, yet another successful trip to the bins, guys. I've got two bags full plus the bag on my back, and I only spent $42.75, which works out to about 70 bucks Australian. Now, this wasn't my first trip to the Goodwill bins. I was in LA a couple of weeks ago and I ran into the problem of needing someone to mind my suitcase while I was over on the East Coast. And well, that's where J6 Flips came in. Hey, brother. Got a miss out here. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Good to meet you, man. I'm Jonathan. Nice to meet you, man. So J6 flips, I guess. Yeah. Oh, mate, you're honestly a huge lifesaver. Jonathan ultimately saved me a couple of hundred dollars worth of baggage fees, and I really wanted to thank him. We went to In N Out Burger when we were back in LA the first time around, and we really got to know each other. And it turns out he's got an awesome YouTube channel. He's a ripping fella, loves his running just like I do. So I really wanted to reward him when I got back to LA this time round. And I ended up giving him the Patagonia shoes. I gave him all of the running shoes actually that I had, as well as all of the Dragon Ball Z backpacks and, and lunch boxes. So hopefully there's a few hundred dollars in there for J6. Make sure you guys go and give him a subscribe in the description below.